Greg Tepper of Dave Campbell's Texas Football and TexasFootball.com here at the THSCA Coaching School and Convention with the new head coach of your McKinney Boyd Broncos, Coach Daniel Foster. Coach, I don't think I've seen you in person since uh, you got the gig, so congratulations. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. It's been a lot of fun. Yeah. Um, it's, it's, you get the promotion from the offensive coordinator position there at, at Boyd and um, taking over for, for Coach Joe McBride. I'm, I'm interested in when that decision came down and you got the call. What was, what was the reaction well, um, Joe actually called me on my son's birthday. My son is Isaiah Joe, named after his middle name, is named after Coach McBride. And I called him, wish him happy birthday, and then kind of told me, hey, he's this, thinking about this. And, you know, I wasn't, I wasn't even thinking about the job. This, yeah. this, is, this is my guy. You know, this is my D.C. in high school, you know, kind of father figure to me, even though my dad was awesome. And then all of a sudden he comes in about a week or two later and goes, hey, I'm hanging him up. Well, yeah. So then I was like, uh, all right, well. What are we going to do? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, and, the, and then I got the phone call from Doctor uh, from uh, Coach Frazier. I was in Tulsa with my son wrestling, so I drove back from Tulsa to meet her. And then the ball started rolling. About a week and a half or two weeks later, uh, they all had the confidence in, in, in us and the staff, and they named me the head, head ball coach. And so we've been rolling since. Well, it's been easy. It's easy to see why. You know, you, you, you've been a, a rising star in the coaching community for for a while now. And and I'm interested. You know, you mentioned uh, Coach McBride and, and the impact he had on you. What uh, you know when. When you look at what you want your boy Broncos to, to look like, obviously pretty good foundation. You know what I mean? It ain't broke out there at, at, at Boyd, but how do you what do you think it is is how do you think you're gonna be able to put your stamp on what is now your program? Well, you know, it's uh you know, I, I tell people, me and Coach McBride are a lot alike and a lot a lot different. I'm a little bit goofy. I, I, I play with a lot of passion and, 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 and toughness, but one thing I don't want them to do is one thing Coach McBride would say is you want kids to storm the gates of hell with a water pistol. And that's the type of kids we want. We want those kids who are just tough, nose. Man, they may not be your four and five star kids, and if we do, it's great to have them, but we want, we want those kids with uh, that you can trust, that are just going to do the right things, and, and that's what Boyd has. we got some great kids, great support, great administration, and so it's 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 a it's an awesome environment. I don't know if you've our student section's amazing. Mm-hmm. So like everything's there, and you just get those kids to start playing for each other, not for themselves. And man, it it, it becomes a fun ride like it was last year. Uh, what are so then when you take a look at your 2022 Broncos, um, you're an offensive guy. What what do you think you guys are going to hang your hat on? What is going to be this the the identity of this? Of this well, that's team? Uh, for the first time since we've been at Boyd. Everybody's going to be like, "Oh, well, uh, Coach McBride left defensively." Yeah. Well, we we graduated like, like three start three starters on on defense who started as a sophomore. Mm. So I tell people, I says, we we graduated a lot of leadership in that standpoint, not just players, but the leadership that they bring on and off the court and so on and off the field. And so defensively, you know, we got a couple guys got to step in there. We got uh, Brett Burton coming back at, at safety, and then but offensively. Is where we have the most returners. Our, our Joey Dixon's coming back. My quarterback Ryan Shotgun's coming back. We got a plethora of running backs with Sheldon King, and so we just have a a, a good core group of guys. That I tell people, I said you look at them, you go, ah. and all of a sudden you get on the field, and they're all up in your grill, and they're mm-hmm. and they and they're gonna play every play like it's the last play. And so we're we're gonna hang our hat on being tough. Mm-hmm. You know, our 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 motto this year is rebar, and everybody's like rebar. What's that? You know, it's it's that stuff in the concrete. I tell people, I says we got to. The foundation's been laid by the coach before mm-hmm. us, and now we got to reinforce it. And so they, those kids are like, oh, oh, yeah, they're all excited, cutting a little rebar stuff. And so they, they know that we just got to keep that foundation from cracking and hold on to our core values, TPD, trust, passion, and discipline. So these kids kind of know what to do. It's just not reinventing the wheel, but making sure they know that um, what last year's team did was last year's team. And you got to you got to own you got to earn the right for yourself. Now the good news for you is you get to ease into the season. Yes, like a nice you know gentle on ramp into there because you guys open. Let me check this um, at home against Longview. That is yes. So Coach, Coach King's awesome, man. I've he he is awesome. Had a couple conversations. He has he has a couple dudes out there, man. Uh, They're gonna be okay. Tradition, um, East Beast Texas, and so they they get to come out to the Taj Mahal McKinney mm-hmm. ISD. Coach Frazier, Coach Pratt, and those guys have made it great. The McKinney ISD Classic. I think the UIL is going to be there, Titch SCA. And so, hey, let's let's go. Hey, listen, you've got an audience for your for your head coaching yeah. debut. Yeah. What more can you ask for, hey, right? Listen, as long as my mama there. That's right. <laughs> you know, my mama going to be there. So, yeah. so that that's all I care about. She's excited. She's already trying to pick out her outfit. So let's, <laughs> let's, let's go. I love um, it. I love it. What does – what does Mrs. Foster – 
think about now that you're in, in the in the big chair? Do you think would she say that your your head has grown? My wife or my mama? Let's say both. So my wife, uh -huh. she got a promotion this year too. She's a assistant coordinator at Frisco Heritage High School. Oh. So she's a volleyball coach oh. over there. So I, I, I kind of, you know, I send those text, text messages to her, when are you coming home? Mm. <laughs> the ones she used to send to me. <laughs> but, no, um, I, I don't think I've grown. I, my head hasn't grown. My mama's excited, but that's just my mama. But, um, I, you know, I try to wash laundry. Okay. I try to clean mm -hmm. up the coach's office. Mm -hmm. I, I try to do those little things I saw the guys in front before me, like Coach Brazel yesterday, getting to Hall of Honor, try to do the things he did when I watched him. Mm -hmm. And, and, and – just to know that when you're the head coach, you're just you're just the head servant. You know, mm -hmm. I, I want to be a foot washer. I want to make sure these kids mm -hmm. know I'm here for them and win, lose, or draw. I want to create great young men and, and teach them through football how to be great. Okay. And finally, we were talking about this before uh, we came on the air. Um, you have a brilliant business idea um, that I think I think is smart because you know Friday nights and and especially coaches, it's not just Friday nights. It's a lot of nights coming home late. Right, yeah. long hours, long hours, and when you're driving, you know, you know, nine o'clock, ten o'clock, hungry, right? Every, you know, you get you need that late night meal, mm -hmm. but what your options are, you know, uh, uh, limited. Number five, water burger, yeah. bacon with mm -hmm. um, Texas toast. But that's not necessarily as as delicious as water burger is. No. May not necessarily be the the number one thing for the waistline. Oh, gosh. right, man. So. Do you want to go in on the 24-hour salad joint? I'm going 24-hour salad yeah. joint. I'm mm -hmm. telling you, just it'll, it'll, it'll help you mm -hmm. on this 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 weight gain. You know, you don't have to have your your preseason pants, your season pants, your postseason pants, bro. You know, every coach they're not gonna talk about this on there. Yeah. I'm gonna tell you right now. I, I brought the old minivan down here, and I got all my my pants in the back. I'm looking for the 36s because it's 36 season. It's 36 season. You know, after the, you'll be 34 season mm -hmm. at the end of the season, and, mm -hmm. and don't don't have a stressful season. You might be a 30. You know, you might buddy, not eat it all. So, buddy, you, uh, that twenty-four hour shop, uh, twenty-four hour salad shop, might have to be something. I'm not like I'm not even a coach, and I feel that hey, very deeply. Uh, I'm just at the Salat is in, in um, mm -hmm. and McKinney. Man, it's, it's, if they could just stay open just a little bit later, or, or make me something to go. That's exactly right. Yeah. You know, like like really just have have it in a bag it's, outside. That's all I need. It's fine, put it in a little drop box. If not, I'm gonna go right down there to the Waterburg on three eighty and Lake Forest, <laughs> and I'm gonna order that number five. <laughs> yep. But I'm gonna put avocado on it because you know, it's healthy. Yeah, it is. It's and, and order a diet coat. <laughs> but, the, but I'm gonna have that big fries. And, and yeah, exactly. Uh, but but the diet coat. Yeah, you, well, it, it, it counters exactly. And the and, and the avocado's got the good fat. Yeah, exactly. You know what I mean? Yes, that's what I've tried to tell fat. Him. Healthy fat. Daniel Foster, Coach McKinney Boyd. Coach, appreciate your time, buddy. Appreciate you. Thank you, sir.